In this example, we will see how to scrape this website. The website is worldometers.info and the data I want to scrape are related to countries population. Basically, in this table right here, we have the all the countries of the world and in each country have its 2020 population uh, and other related stuff like density, land area, uh, word share, and more. So let's get started. I will go to my text editor of choice, which is VS Code. I will create a Python file. I will call it scraper.py. So first thing first, I will import the required packages. In my case, import requests from BS4 import beautiful soup and import pandas as PD. So to explain them real quick, we need requests to send the HTTP request and get back the HTML page. We need, we need beautiful soup to extract the data and we need pandas to save it. Okay, first of all, we got to find our URL. In our case, this is the URL. I will copy it and paste it here. I will get the response and save it. Request.get, sorry about that the URL and I will create the soup object. So basically we defined our URL meaning that the URL of the web page we want to scrape we gotta pass it to this object, this class, which is the requests.get, which will talk to the server and get back the HTML, which we will save in this variable right here that we named the response. And we then gotta pass it into a beautiful soup object. The reason you would do that is because the HTML text is a text and you want it to be a markup meaning in a real HTML. So now that we have our soup object, we can, for example, print it to print soup. We got to save it. And we got to clear this one and run the code. Python 3.10 scraper dot by in your case you might you want to just do python scraper dot by run so after running the code this is what we got we can see a td td we can see a tr all of these are html tags meaning that we got no error let me get this one down. So now what you want to do is to scrape each one of these lines separately and then get the data of each line of a, each row, I would say. So the way we do that is to inspect the web page. Let me get this down a little bit. We click on this icon right here and we click on the table. Let me expand this. We can see that our table is a table tag with this ID. Then if we expand it more, we can see that we have a header and a body. And the body is what holds our data. So if I expand this more, we can see these tags. TR, 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 TR. Basically, this is what we want. All of this. So we said that we have a table of this ID. Let me get back here and 
let's name them rows equal soup dot find a table with the ID of examples to then we want to find the T body and then find all the TR basically when I have all of these TRs because each TR represents a row this is China this is India this is the US this is Indonesia and so on and so to test that we are correct we can print the length the length of rows so before running this let me get back to this one so if we want to count how many rows we have we can see that if I scroll down we have 235 so if I run this I can see that we have the same name number meaning that we are correct so the way I want to go about it is as follows I will create a class a list called countries list and then I will loop for row in rows I will create a dictionary I will make uh, I will excuse me what's going on here I will get the rest of the data and then I will append this dictionary at the end I want to countries that append this dictionary so here we want to add the data of each row to this dictionary and then append it each time the way we do that is let's say we want to append the name of the country so we would do country equal row which is this one dot find now what we do want to find okay let's get back to this one let's say if we go to the first one which is China and expand it we can see we have a bunch of TD uh, tags this is the first TD second third the fourth and so on so each TD is a column and we can see right here that the first column is a number and the second column is the one that holds the name so we want to get the second one if we go back right here we can say find all the TD and get and then get the second one the first one has an index of 0 and the second one has an index of 1 so basically if we do this we will have a bunch of let's say a bunch of dictionaries saved in this list and all of them hold the name hold each name of the countries right here let me explain if i do that and then I would print this one right here I would save it and I would clear this one and run the code and error dot append Uh, sorry about that I forgot to get only text 
so if i run it again we can see that we have a list of dictionaries that each one of them hold a country name this one is maldives this one is brazil this one is french polynesia and so on so we successfully got the name of each country now let's try and get something else for example if we want to get the population we said that this one is zero index zero this one is one this one is two so basically population 2020 equal to row dot find all td we want to get the third one which is second here number two then text and to visualize that better we will only take the first one the first row so clear we run that again and we can see this dictionary that has the country which is china and the population of 2020 which is this one a billion four hundred million and so on which is the same as this one china a billion four hundred and so on so that's how we can scrape the rest of them one thing we may want to do is to remove this comma right here maybe you want the name the the, num the number as an integer the way we do that is if we come right here we can in python we can do replace comma with an empty string if we save that clear and run that again now we have a integer number so how can we now save this let's say we want to save this into a excel or csv the way we do that is using pandas so if we come here we can do df that stands for data frame equal pd which is panda dot data frame we pass our list now this list is turned into a data frame and we can simply do df dot to excel we can name it something like data or countries data dot excel six and index equal false so you don't need to understand what i'm doing here but basically if you are just starting out this is the code to do that and uh, one thing to note is that we have we must end this name by a dot xlsx which is the extension of excel and if you want to save to csv you can do df dot to csv and then maybe the same name countries data dot csv again the extension is very important and then the index is set to false if we save this and clear this one before running the code you gotta check out here before running the code i have an eye on what's going on here we only have this one file scraper.py which is the one we are typing on now when we run this code two files will appear one an excel and second a csv so if i run this one and here you go we have a new excel and the csv file if we click on the excel file we can see that we have all the countries with the population of 2022 of 2020 excuse me and if you want to 
find it on our machine we can just right click here and reveal in finder so here they are this is the folder i was using and if we click this one it will open on a excel spreadsheet so here you go if i make this bigger here are all of our data 